In this tutorial, we are going to create an auditory oddball experiment using the new emotive components found in version 2020.2.3 of PsychoPy. We will be demonstrating the event related potential or ERP associated with the presentation of an oddball tone. To help accentuate the effect, the subject will be asked to count the number of oddball events so that they are both consciously and unconsciously paying attention to the oddball tone. Before you can connect PsychoPy to emotive hardware, you need to register an app ID at emotive.com. Log in with your emotive ID, go to my account, Cortex Apps, fill in the name of your app and register it. Then you will get a client ID and a client secret that you need to copy into a file called .emotivecreds in your home directory. In your favorite text editor, create a file like so. There are two new components in PsychoPy that enable you to interact with emotive hardware. They can be found in the Custom Components section. The first is the Emotive Recording component. This allows PsychoPy to connect to the headset and start a recording. The other is the Emotive Marking component. It allows you to accurately mark when events happen. Now let's build the experiment. Open the Build module and add an Emotive Recording component, accepting the default values. Now let's add some instructions. Add a text component. You will be presented with a series of tones. Please count the number of high tones. Click space to continue. Then we will add a keyboard component to end the routine, ensuring the force end of routine checkbox is checked. Now add a new routine. Let's call it stimulus. This routine will present the stimuli and mark the data. PsychoPy allows you to present stimuli in many different ways. We are going to use a simple code component. We will use the code component to randomly select which tone to play and the length of the intertone time. Let's start by adding a code component and in the Begin Experiment tab, let's add a seed to the random number generator. In the Begin Routine tab, Let's set the tone to play. We will just play an A or a B. The B will be played only 20% of the time. Let's set the delay to be between 1 and 2 seconds. Now let's add a sound component. Set the start time to be dollar delay and the sound tone to be dollar tone. These will have been set by the code component that we have just added. Now set the duration to 0.05 seconds. We also have to change the selector from constant to set every repeat. Finally, let's add the emotive marking component. Set the start time to dollar delay, so the marker is added at the same time as the tone is played, and set the duration to be one second. This will just add some time between the stimuli. Set the label to dollar tone, and the value to dollar value. Now add a loop around our stimulus routine. And now we are ready to test. Before we collect data, let's check that the experiment is running as we expect. To do this, it is handy to deactivate the emotive components because they don't like it if there is no headset connected. To do this, we just open the component and select the testing tab and check the disable component. And we do that for both emotive components. To ensure that you record good quality data, it is a good idea to check the data in Emotive Pro. Here you can check that the contact quality is 100% and that the data looks clean. It is also a good idea to check that the wireless connection is working well by clicking on the data packets tab. The sawtooth pattern should be smooth and there should be no vertical red lines which indicate that samples have been lost. It looks like the connection is working well here, so let's go back to PsychoPy and run the experiment. Let's set the number of repetitions. The more the better, but for this demonstration, let's try 300, which will give us about 60 oddball trials. Now let's run the experiment. Now, the first time you run it, it will not work. You have to give PsychoPy permission to talk to the headset. 
So open the Emotive app and approve the access. Now run again. Add a subject name. It's working. There's nothing to see here, so let's skip to the end of the experiment. As you can see, the experiment finished running successfully. So now, if we open Emotive Pro and look at the recordings, we can see our recording. When you mouse over the record, the action icons will appear on the right. Click on the cloud with an arrow on it to export the record. Select the features you want exported and the type of file. I am going to be processing the data with Python, so I will select CSV. I have opened the CSV file that we have just created. Here you can see that it is not a standard CSV, in that the first row contains some information about the recording, and the column headings are in the second row. So for processing, you will need to either delete the first row or skip it when you read the file. The markers that we entered are in the column titled Marker Value Int. If we filter the blank rows from this column, you can see that approximately 20% are 2 and the rest are 1. To analyze my data, I am going to do a simple high pass filter, then re reference the data to the data median, and discard epochs if the data range is greater than 100 microbytes. And this is what I get. The blue line is the oddball, and the green is the control. So, that is how to use the emotive components in PsychoPy to perform a simple ERP experiment. Thank you for your time.